everyone, welcome to Quick Hacks by Tatwik. Today, I'm going to talk about how Google Time Manager, GTM, has made our life so easy by introducing the new feature of YouTube video tracking. Now, we all know that GTM comes up with new features, new updates, uh, and a lot of changes very frequently. So, I think the onus is on professionals like us to make our audience, to make you guys uh, aware of these new features and updates and also the benefits that follow. You never know when any of these features would prove to be a uh, boon to your business. YouTube video tracking is one such feature and today I'm going to talk to you about the video tracking capabilities of the same. Alright, so I'm sure a lot of you have uh, YouTube videos embedded in your website as do we have at Tatwik. But have you ever struggled with uh, knowing the user engagement uh, on your video content? Or have you ever wondered how will you know whether the extra embedding script on your website is performing well or not? For this, you have to track the video, right? So once you start tracking these uh, YouTube embedded videos in your website, you can unfold answers to questions like uh, what action is my user performing or how much time is my user spending on uh, watching a specific type of content, right? Now I'm sure you must have come across a lot of blogs online that give you a ready script uh, to, to be implemented to get this tracking going. But what if I told you you do not need a script at all. You heard that right. Uh, let's take a look at how you can achieve the YouTube video tracking with uh, GTM. So thanks to GTM, uh, with just a few clicks, you are ready to track the embedded YouTube videos on your website. How about that? Let's take a look at what GTM has to offer. Recently, we noticed this amazing trigger which enables uh, tracking of start, pause, complete seeking and buffering along with progress in time or in percentage and also uh, for API if it's not there you can add it to the page as well. Moreover this trigger comes with a few default variables in the configure variables section as we can see here uh, you can track video provider, the status of the video, title, URL, duration, current time, percentage and visibility. Now, you must be wondering about those videos that are appended dynamically or perhaps are lazy load implementation or on one-page sites. It is natural to have a question like, will this trigger work in all the cases? Well, the answer to that question is an absolute yes, but it needs to have just one simple API library. Let us understand it logically. When you check mark add JavaScript API to all videos option in the trigger, it downloads the API library. The implemented YouTube trigger is based on this library and is smart enough to understand the calls which are being made by this library. If the video comes after user performs an action on the web, then this library must be loaded before the video appears. This helps YouTube trigger to understand when the video comes in action. So you can either implement it via GTM or can hard code it on your website and your video tracking will be smooth as ever. Now what about the tracking? How will you set the category action label? Here is our suggestion. Select category as video provider, action as video title and label as video status or video person. So I hope you found this video helpful and that's all for today. If you have any topics in mind that you would like us to cover, please uh, leave a suggestion in the comment box below. And also please do not forget to leave your feedback or feel free to write to us at hello at tatwik.com. Uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you get a notification when we come back with our new video next Thursday. In the meanwhile, please uh, like, share, subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn for regular updates. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.